for the energy this morning, guys. We're, we're going to dig right into this. Uh, this way I don't take up too much time. But uh, some of you guys are young, uh, maybe too young to, to, to remember when, when they won a national championship at Ohio State 2002. Uh, big underdog, Maurice was a starter at 18 years old. So wanted to expose you at the end. I'm going to give all the MGAs. or are going to get a copy of his book. Uh, if I'm sweating, you guys forgive me. I was on my mind, body, spirit this morning. I hit the sauna. Uh, copy of his book, One and Done. And uh, so we get to have him here with us here in Pittsburgh speaking to the agency. Uh, my friend, my dog, Maurice Claret. Just riding up here from Columbus and just like kind of thinking about what I was going to talk about. Uh, I probably told my story a million times and it probably wouldn't have a, a ton of value to a, a bunch of people. But if you care to read it, you know, there to go. Um, but just, just through, through like, like you said, through coming out of prison, through rebuilding my life, it's just some things that uh, when I started off in business, um, you know, you have a, an idea of what you want to accomplish. So you have this idea like, you know, I want to go out here, I want to grab money, I want to, you know, get a nice car, get a nice house. And just throughout the process of, um, of developing yourself or doing business, things just start to change and you find different ideas that, that help you to sustain a, a larger level of motivation. And uh, what I was talking about to Simon in the back was that, you know, when I first started off, I was like, you know, I can't wait to, you know, hit the $100,000 mark, the $200,000 mark, the $500,000 mark. And when you do business, you want to do a million dollars in business and two million and three million and four million. And, uh, and it's true, and I said it sounds cliche to people, but sometimes, you know, you, you start to hit these marks and you don't feel the way that you think you'll feel. You'll do a million dollars in business, you do two, you do three, you do four, you do five, you do six. And you say to yourself, like, man, this just doesn't feel like the way I thought it would feel. And so you start to ask yourself, like, you know, what is my what is my larger purpose for doing what I'm doing? And so when it when it came to me and like finding like that motivation in different places, I was like, okay, like what really helped me? And what really helped me was like, you know, like asking myself, like, what life am I building? I run my own race. You know what I'm saying? And and uh in that way, you know, I think a lot of that stuff comes from the discipline I have daily. Um, you know, I go to my, I tell Simon knows, you know, I go all the time, I go down to my whiteboard inside my house, I'm a, I'm a real big visualization person, and I, and, I, and I concentrate on what I'm focused on, you know what I'm saying, every day I go down here, like I, I put my energy and my intention on what I'm focused on, you know, not what anybody else is doing, and so my actions and my steps directed every day by what, you know, I'm doing. And, um, you know, I, I told myself this year, you know, I, have, I had a few questions. Oh, you no, know, I had a few questions I asked myself, like, you know, in the process of what I'm doing, you know, what am I becoming and who am I becoming? You know, I think that's something that, that everybody needs to ask themselves. You know, like when y'all sitting here and Simon leading you uh, or whoever leads you within your, your, your faction, like, what are you becoming? Like, when, when you listen to Simon, what is this allowing you to become? Because has to, this has to be more than finances. And this has more to do with life because you'll feed into the shallow shit of America. You know, it has to, has to be more than um, like some financial gain here. You know, Simon helping me become a better person. Does this company, like I start putting more value on that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like does, does the work that I'm doing allow me to be a better individual? And I can't say five years ago I felt that way. I work, you know, I, I proudly work 16 hour days. You know, but uh, I, I bought a car, I had 17,000 miles on it. I think I had like 170 now. You know, this is like two and a half years ago. You know, but I was driving two and three hours uh, up and down the road from Youngstown to Columbus, and I don't know if anybody knows what that, how far that is in comparison, but Columbus is Central Ohio, and Youngstown is Northeast, so this is three hour trips. This is two, three times a week, you know, every day, you know, but not complaining. You know, so now I hear, I hear people bitch about like just doing small sh They don't really want it. You know, we got, I'm telling you, we got a culture of people. Uh, this is just the culture of people just don't want to work. We look at work like it's a, like people are embarrassed to work. Everybody has to look cool now. I just don't understand it. You know, like, just think like, you know, when we came up, I, I'm, I'm like one of them back in the day people, like it was okay to like show somebody you were like building your life. Now a person think like, oh, well, I'll start working at uh, AIA on Monday, I'm rich on Friday. <laughs> like, shit don't work like that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it just don't work like that, you know what I'm saying? But will you dedicate yourself to the process? How about when we were talking about putting the work in, um, sometimes it ain't fun, it ain't sexy, it ain't you don't love every part of that aspect. Nah, it's not. You know, I tell this all the time. I, I, I said this on Twitter one time. I was like in the gym and I said, sometimes like uh, the people watching you, and, and this was a reference to football, but it makes sense. Uh, like oftentimes being or attempting to be great, because it's not even a guarantee you're going to be great when you do this. I tell you that, right? But attempting to be great is probably one of, one of the most loneliest journeys. 
You know, because when you try to be great, you're like going above and beyond, and most people aren't on that road at above and beyond. You know what I'm talking about? Right, so you by yourself, you're working by yourself, you're working hours that normal people don't work. Everybody work typically works nine to five and they shut it down. When you're trying to be great, you're working on yourself, you're reading books, you're listening to podcasts, you're listening to YouTube videos, um, you you working out by yourself in the morning, uh, you're working with yourself at night, you know, so you don't have time for other people, so it becomes real lonely. Uh, but what I found out though is that the joy and the pleasure, uh, once you reach your goals, it all makes sense, but it doesn't make sense during the time.